TikTok has just released this Google document, which I've linked in the description, which is going to tell us how to troubleshoot any issues with TikTok Live Studio. Firstly, where did this come from? It came from the unofficial Live Studio Discord. I've also linked that in the description. Despite claiming to be unofficial, it does have real TikTok Live Studio staff members in it. The document opens by telling us to look at the minimum system recommendations, and it says they're on this web page here. And we head to the web page, and there's nothing there, so that's a good start. I say nothing, it does say 64 bit, Windows 10, or newer. Now it states that if you only meet these minimum recommendations, that you can only stream in 720p and 30 fps. Let's look how to change that in Live Studio. Click on the settings cog, go on stream quality, and then change video quality here to the base 720p option. So these are TikTok's recommended settings if you only meet whatever the minimum recommended specifications are. If you have a higher end PC, the document and myself recommend just go for the 1080p settings here and make sure you're using the H.265 encoder or at least one of the hard codecs. Next up, the document recommends that you check the game that you're playing's system requirements as well. And of course, using Live Studio and the game, the requirements for your PC will have to be above the game's minimum requirements. Of course, as you can see, you can just Google to find your game's requirements. The document also then states the obvious saying, if you get a better GPU, CPU and system components, then of course lag will be reduced. And speaking of lag, they've listed a lot of different ways to troubleshoot lag. So let's start with the first one. And that is use the built-in speed testing on Live Studio. To get to that, hit the settings cog in the bottom left and on this stream quality page, you just press test speed. Now I've found that sometimes the upload or the download can show incorrectly. I believe in the back end though, it is actually recording the correct upload and download speed. Once it's done the test, it should recommend the optimal settings. While TikTok doesn't advise this, I would actually advise run this test while your game is running because then it's more realistic. Now I've showed this already. Their next advice is make sure you use a hardware encoder in the stream quality settings. H.265 is the best one, but like I said, use a hard codec where possible. Next up, they recommend closing things that you're not using. Their example is video conferencing tools and things running in the background. Of course, you could check at the bottom of your taskbar, but to make sure, I'm gonna right click Windows icon here, click on Task Manager. Once you've got the Task Manager up, if you wanna shut something down, just right click it and choose End Task. Next up, it's saying if you have two graphics cards, make sure it's running on the correct one. I don't have two graphics cards, so I don't really know how you would switch that. The next piece of advice is lower the stream quality to 720p. And they say if you continue to lag, then delete scenes and sources on the left hand side here. So to delete a scene, just right click it, click on delete scene. And same for deleting sources, just right click whatever you want, find the delete option and delete that too. If you want the most ultra basic setting, I'm going to click add scene, click on blank and press add. You would then delete all your other scenes and then click on add source and purely add a display capture, capture your cursor and press add source. That would literally be it. Make sure you check your sound settings and see that your mic's added and your computer speakers are added. You could also experiment by deleting the display capture and then adding a game capture or a window capture. Next up, I've turned on my lower quality webcam and that's because they are recommending you lower your FPS to 15 and you lower the resolution to 480p. That does feel quite low, but of course, if you're lagging, you've got to try things. So here's how you do it on the camera. Click on the settings cog. Next under camera format here, the number on the right is the P. So you can see what we want is the 480, but this one says 30 FPS. So let's find the 15 FPS option. It doesn't actually exist. So we can't follow their advice, but if we're crazy enough to lower it to 10 FPS, let's try it, see what it looks like. I've switched it to 10 FPS. I also want to go through the settings and just enable auto because for some reason it's not on auto and it can look really weird if it's not. So I'm just going to press apply and here we go. We are in 10 FPS. It looks terrible and we can't even follow their 15 FPS advice because it doesn't exist. But if you're getting desperate, yes, you could lower your webcam to 10 FPS. Honestly though, if you're going to go to 10 FPS, I would just literally delete the webcam. The next piece of advice is that capture cards perform better than cameras. So to add a capture card, click on add source and instead of camera, choose capture card. 
So once again, you can actually choose your webcam. So let's choose my lower quality webcam and I'm going to set it this time to 1080p. So again, the number on the right is the P. So I picked the 1080p option. The other settings seem fine. So I'll click on add source. It's not full screen. I'll stretch it to screen. And at least it now looks a lot better than the 10 FPS we had before. So that is an interesting one. Try adding your webcam as a capture card instead. Next up, it's recommending enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. That is a mouthful. But let's follow these steps. I'm going to click on start, then head to settings and system. So I'm going to head on to settings and then click on system. Now I'm going to click on display on the left. It's already open. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and click on graphics settings. For me, this is already enabled, but if yours isn't, check the box. As the fifth step says, restart your computer if you have to. So those are some generic methods. Let's look at what they're calling UI lag and let's look at how to troubleshoot that. So firstly, they're simply recommending you update your graphics card. Most of us have GeForce graphics cards, so just open GeForce Experience. And on the drivers page in the top left, just click on check for updates to see if your graphics card is updated. If you don't have GeForce experience, I'll link it in the description. Now, I will fully admit this next one here, which says in a virtual machine, make sure GPU acceleration is allowed in the virtual machine settings and that the appropriate driver is installed on the system inside the virtual machine, such as VMware tools. I have no idea what this means. Although I do try my best, I am actually just a streamer like you at the end of the day. If someone can help us out with this one, leave a comment and I'll probably pin it. Now they have some recommended steps for reducing game lag while using Live Studio. And the first one is the recommendation to use game capture instead of display capture. To add game capture, click on add source on the left and choose game capture. To delete a display capture, right click the display capture and click on delete. It also states that window capture is also more efficient than display capture, but less efficient than game capture. Next up, they recommend just reducing the performance of your game. So for example, if you're playing Fortnite, try turning on performance mode. In general, they recommend reducing the FPS on your game. Moving on, they recommend trying different rendering modes for the game. So another Fortnite example, Fortnite has DirectX 11, DX12 and performance mode. So try different rendering modes and see if that reduces lag. The final suggestion for game lag is game mode. So you literally just type game mode into your settings. You'll get game mode settings and make sure this box is checked. Next up, they're talking about live preview lag. And what that means is this area here, mine just says the stream is starting, but it's about reducing the lag on whatever is appearing here. So we're back with my low quality webcam. And that's because their first piece of advice is remove the foreground or green screen feature. So to remove that against your camera, click on the settings cog. And if you've got it selected, untick either foreground or green screen. I had foreground selected. So if I uncheck it, you can see we go back to my default camera view. As we discussed earlier on, it also recommends that you add your camera as a capture card instead of a camera source. So click the plus button, click on capture card and add your camera this way instead. Moving on, they advise against slow loading browser sources, which is actually called the link source inside Live Studio. If you're using Tickfinity, this shouldn't be a problem. Tickfinity always loads really fast. They also say avoid using them at all if possible. I think that's mainly just TikTok being selfish and not wanting you to use third party products. But of course, if you do delete the link source, that does of course reduce the system strain. As they said earlier, in general, if you're trying to reduce lag, the fewer sources, the better. Next up, they advise with your images and video files. Try not to play really long videos. If you are playing a video, you press add source and you choose the video option here. Similarly, they suggest trying to shrink down any image sizes. So I've not had any issues on Live Studio, but I can see that my starting soon screen is 1.7 meg. And if I was having issues, I would find a free online tool to shrink the size of it. Moving on, they repeat themselves. They say, try different rendering engines in your game. So once again, in Fortnite, they have DX11, DX12 and performance mode. So just try all the rendering methods in your game. Now, this is an interesting one. They say, if you have more than one monitor, so for example, I have three monitors. They say, try placing Live Studio and your game on the same screen. So I'm going to click add source. I'm going to click on display capture. We are on display one. I'll capture the cursor. Of course, you're going to have this mirror effect. This is normal. But what they're suggesting you do is after going live, literally just minimize live studio 
This is GeForce experience, but imagine that I'm now playing my game. I'm not a tech expert, I have no idea why that would reduce lag, but give it a go, keep Live Studio, and keep your game on the same screen. Moving on, TikTok talks about what's called frame drops, and this is typically due to your internet speed. For a 1080p stream, I recommend you have at least 10 meg of upload speed. If you're below that, I recommend you stream in 720p. Once again, the settings for that are here in the stream quality section. But now let's go through everything TikTok recommends as well. So firstly, they have a basic recommendation, which is just check your PC that you're not downloading anything and check other people using your Wi-Fi or internet network. A good way to check your PC, again, right click the start button, click on task manager, and you can check all these different tabs here. Make sure you've got no app open that you don't want open. And you can also click on a performance, click on ethernet or whatever you've got and see what's happening here. Their next recommendation is to try lowering the bitrate. So once again, go in settings, it's in stream quality. And it's this section here, the video bitrate. Just keep in mind that anything below 4000, it's not going to look particularly good. Next up, they're once again suggesting run this speed test tool. It's at the top of the stream quality settings. And again, although they are not advising it, I recommend run it while you have your game open because it will be more realistic. The next recommendation is to just check that your internet service provider's service is working properly. So just head on to their website, see if they're reporting any errors. And of course, they're stating the obvious that if you're streaming during peak hours, your internet service provider will be under more strain than, for example, if you were streaming at 4 a.m. Finally, they also state that, of course, sometimes if there's frame drops, it can be on the viewer's end. The viewer's TikTok app might be bugged or their internet might just be bad. So if viewers are reporting frame drops, always just check that multiple viewers are experiencing the problem. Once again, I've linked this in the description. That is how to troubleshoot Live Studio issues. If you're actually looking to improve your Live Studio and make a lot more money from it, then check out my video here. And you can also join my free newsletter to get weekly tips on growing and monetizing your stream. Consider subscribing if you found this useful and thanks for watching.